burped quite a bit before the camera started, so that was a pretty good timing. Always belch before you go on camera. Everybody do that, make sure, because that way you don't make a fool of yourself. Okay, fan going off, cool down, music going down. Muting myself on my own stream because I don't like the sound of my own voice. Yes! Okay, so today, <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you what I did. So I did this when I was on off camera and I added some like moss and everything to make it look kind of cool and old. And I'm really proud of it and I wanna try and replicate that for this one, especially. And I wanna do something with these bricks so I wanna make them look different. So, I have a ton of paint around me. Let's get this show on the road. Woohoo! Also, fun fact, I have been painting this amazing dwarf as well that I'm really proud of. But he's not finished yet. I like the fiery, like, kind of mohawk he's got going on here. He's far from finished, obviously, but he'll get there. So, anywho, right, so we're doing this, and I want to paint some, I want to paint these bricks differently because if you ever, like, walk around a place, like an old church or something, like, I, we've got old churches where I live. Sometimes the bricks ain't the same color. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and paint this one probably a little bit darker than the rest. If I can get it to work. <laughs> if not, we're gonna try. Uh, where is that dark paint I had? Dang it. That's not, I know I'm gonna wash that. Tell you what, I'll just paint them all differently for now. Then we'll wash it. We'll go over the wash. I've got a lot of grey paint because I need to do another thing in a minute. So, let's paint that at a different angle. Just zooming in. If I do that, it will. Get it in focus for you guys. The hell is that? The hell? I'll go as long as the music starts and so keeps playing. I've got to paint these different too because these are like, um, I don't even see. They like broken bits of grave. I need it. What did you break? Don't break that. Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? I don't know if my new emote is working. Let me just check because I did get, I did got to upload a new one and let me go straight. It hasn't approved it or anything. Nope, still three. There will be a fourth emote coming soon. So fingers crossed for that. That gets approved rather quickly. Right now we're just painting scenery because I haven't got else to do. Oh no, oh no, wow. That's not very nice. We treat everybody here the same. We treat everyone fairly. See, right now, guys, I'm just painting some scenery because I really enjoy it. And just try to get just different colours of the stones because I actually went for a walk after my mum said go to town and get me some bits and pieces. I was like, okay, I can do that. Bits and pieces, that's my job. That is my thing. Hello! How are you doing, Carl? I'm still working on those bracelets, don't you worry. I've not forgotten them. I just need, I just need my hands need a break from plaiting constantly <laughs> over and over and over again. So, so far we're just doing some like stonework and then with the paint that I've mixed, I've realised I've mixed too much. Um, I'm going to put it on the other thing that I'm supposed to work on as well. Yeah, to you. Scenery. Yeah, it's because it's cool. Are you just done with work? Yeah, high five. <laughs> and this one, let's make this one darker as well. You're hiding at work. <laughs> I mean, I used to do that at the cinema, but my hiding spots are very limited. I could hide in the screens when there's no one in there. <laughs> really? Oh, God. I don't know, some theater chairs are really comfy, so you might have found a really good spot to, like, fall asleep in. Nice. No worries, take your time. Yes, T, we're saying people to take their time because we don't want them hurting themselves. So. Ooh, that was actually quite nice. I like that. Try and put that on the rest of this. Okay. 
damn, that sounds nice. Well, hopefully the guitar music's helping. Hello, how you doing, Wick? Right now we're painting more scenery, because why not? Because I have a ton of it. I would love to get some of the fantasy, like more fantasy, I can't speak, more fantasy scenery. And I've seen it in the shops, I'm like, mm, I need it, but I also need to eat. Mm. I actually fixed my scoreboard, so like, <laughs> I don't know why. Nothing interesting has happened to me recently. I've just been mucking around, helping people, saving people, hunting things. You know, the family business. Um, <laughs> anyone can guess that quote, you get a cookie. I've not been feeling very well. I've actually been feeling a bit sick, so I'm taking my time with things. And I thought, why not go on here and paint? And if I have to run off to the bathroom, then you guys know why I'm running, because I've been sick. <laughs> There's no other way around putting it. I've, I've just been sick. <laughs> you get a cookie. I wish I had a cookie emote. That'll be the next one, I promise. If I hit 50, you'll get a cookie emote. <laughs> hey, I'm not a superhero. I'm... Oh yeah, that that adventure. It was it was who we think it was. It was it was that villain that we all kind of guessed it was. And instead of I had me picking to team up with them, they teamed up against me, which was a headache. Because I looked at my DM, I was like, "Are you joking? Are you actually throwing both the villain at? Why do they get to pick and I can't? Why can't I just like you know team up with one of them?" A tint with the flash because it was the right thing to do but no my dm was evil and probably watches this so i hate you uh, <laughs> and decided that you know what my villain needed to comb down a peg or two so he got both the villain that i was supposed to either team up with and the hero i was supposed to team up with and threw them at me mm. on a beach mm -hmm. Which was bad because I found out I, my powers, my, my character's powers got a bit stronger. So I kicked their butt. <laughs> How's this looking so far, by the way? Is this looking alright? Hmm. There's little bits that I've missed, but again, I'm just going to go over them. Like, just... No, I didn't. So we were in the building and we found I found out who was the like the guy who was like owning the debt of like her family and everything. And his name was Vincent Mayers. His name was Vincent Mayers was the mafia boss that I had to go after. He was like the cause of all the trouble and why I got my powers and all that kind of stuff in this in this RPG that I'm playing. And I found his house, which was next to the beach. So I went after it. But unfortunately there was two a villain and a superhero fighting near the beach. And they saw me trying to kind of first break into the, <laughs> failing to break into the house. But I managed to get like the security and everybody outside. And the guy thought he was safe inside. And remember, my character's powers is to cause calamities. And basically the flash comes over. He's like, you got to stop this. There's a, there's a way of doing this. We can, we can go get after him in another way. It's a better way. And, and basically I, my character, little Ingrid's like, you either do it now or I'm going to do it for you. And I kind of sank this man's house with him in it into the ground and crushed it. Like, poof. so a big fight ensued. And it, there was a time where it was just me versus the Flash again. But he got better and he got someone to team up with him. And it pissed me off because I was supposed to team up with them. Uh, <laughs> I like how I get really mad at this as well. I was like, I'm really annoyed. To be fair, I was because my DM was just being a meanie to me. And um, he goes, okay, so the flash camp calls on reinforcement and out pops the fucking weather wizard. And I'm like, are you joking? Yeah, she can't break into her house. She's not sneaky. Unless she's going in like, with a disguise. She's not very good. <laughs> so yeah, I had to fight both the flash and the weather wizard, which was funny because we found out, well, I found out. Pretty well, to, she can not, not just ground. We found out she can actually control water as well because she was that extremely peed off that everything was just being thrown at her and her emotions were going crazy. 
I loved I loved Tara though. I love her. I love her. And um, what happened was she basically they were they were causing like the storm to happen behind her on the beach, and I got really mad. So I decided like, wait, I'm on sand. I could probably try something. I said, can I just do one thing? And, like, yeah, because can I cause like an eruption of Earth, like just like fly up with the sand, but then like kind of superheat it to make glass. <laughs> So I was making gla like glass spikes like pop up and they're like, <laughs> and I got away because I ran. A I know, I know. That's why I love her. I actually want to cosplay that character as well because I think I could pull it off. But um, yeah. So Ingrid got away again by throwing ice like sandy spikes at people, and basically diving under the water because she can control that apparently now. And my DM's just getting more and more annoyed because she's not died. It is. So what I've just done there, I'm just lightening up these things. And I'm going to darken them, but I'm just going to lighten them for now to make them look pretty cool. Do it. I'm just going to get these little bits here. So I want to try and get all the bits that I've missed. So yeah, Ingrid had a bit of a fight with two DC characters and then ran away. <laughs> Because I did, I basically have completed my story arc. I was supposed to go after the moth. The, the idea was, the reason why my DM got mad at me and wouldn't let me team up with either the villain or the hero was because I killed my the, the story arc that I had, which was I was supposed to face off against the Mafia boss, find out he had the same powers to me, and basically see who wins. And I wasn't supposed to win, but I kind of cheated it. Ooh. Ooh. I have cosplayed one before. Um, I would go Black Canary because she's blonde. And I don't like dyeing my hair, so I would have to go with a blonde character. <laughs> Killer Frost, maybe? Um, but yeah, I cosplayed the Black Canary, the DC, the DC bombshell Black Canary. And I have a photo with um, Troy Baker and Nolan North from MC a few years ago. And that was the one I got mugged at. <laughs> I didn't get mugged, I got robbed. So far, I'm just, again, like, just quickly going over the bits that I've missed. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Can I just turn the music down? I do apologise. Just generic guitar music. <laughs> but it's good guitar music, because I am slowly learning the guitar. <laughs> Try and get all the bits. It's quite annoying when you when you realise you've missed like tiny tiny bits there. And you're like, Ey. I gotta go over them again. Yep. Oh, you know this one? It's classic. Okay, I think I've got most. Nope. No, I missed bits there. I can see. It's like ah. Dang it. It's not, not there's a great app. I think it's called Musician. Use I will post a link of it somewhere. And you get an hour free. And what you do is you tune your guitar into the, the app. And it it's like playing guitar hero, but with a real guitar. You can pay for it, I think, if the monthly subscription that you can get, or you can pay for it like or like you can you do the one hour thing where you learn a piece of music a bit by bit and it's really good because it, it is like guitar hero and that's what i've been using and it's really really good right i think oh, again i'm not showing what i'm doing i'm so sorry i'm being crap at this um what i'm gonna do is leave that to dry because that one's looking really good i'm really proud of that so far and i'm missing so much oh my god kessie what are you doing today you mental person and there's bits here oh my lord kessie right no no we'll leave that one leave that one fine because we've got to paint this thing and get the floor and the stone and that i don't know whether to i don't know about that one it's tricky Hold on, I heard a beep beep. I heard a beep beep. Two seconds. Right, I'm going to get all this stone here. So I'm going to need a new brush. Everything's frozen. Everything's super. Probably. 
The guitar music is really good. I fall asleep to it as well, I'll be honest with you. It's really good music. Oh, come on, laptop. Run faster. I know you're a potato. So we're going to face and go whoop, 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 with just a normal base. Oh, this was fun to build. I have a hair there, dang it. I heard the beep beep and it's not working. So, sorry, the beep beep is fine. Don't worry, I checked the beep beep, the beep is fine. Just going crazy, trying to just cover this and then we'll go over it with different colours to darken the bricks or lighten them, whichever we feel like. I think I clicked the beep beep, I don't know. The beep beep went click click and I went boop boop and I don't know. <laughs> One thing I do like, when because when I do stuff like seeing like this, I do like walking around where I live because we do have small buildings. Surprisingly, the council hasn't knocked them down yet, wow. Um, but there's like an old church in the middle of town next to a library and they have old bricks and it's kind of cool to see how the vegetation takes over it and stuff like that i'm trying to click the bleep and i did not bloody work so it's like <laughs> like how would the like the vines grow where would they fall like how much light are they getting from certain areas and it's it's kind of cool to look at stuff like that and get references and i try i try so hard to kind of like include it in models Again, I want to get some magical, like, fantasy stuff more of it because I absolutely love painting because you get to paint like, hey, this is, this is the wizard's tower. Do they have scorch marks? Like, do they do they have, like, this? Do, like, you know, how, is there, like, potion damage? Like, you know, is there acid splashes on this wall because, you know, the desk is here and there's these brew potions there. I love that. And I would love to paint more. Surprisingly, I've got a lot, of, a lot of paints left. <laughs> okay, I know I'm going over the flowers and it's a bit of a bad thing, but we can fix it. So far, that's looking all right. What do you guys think? My desk is a mess. Oh, oh boy. It's the only Mickey Mouse impression you're getting from me. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm i not for that kind of thing. Whenever it comes to cos costumes and everything, I try to, like... For my sister, when I made her not the brave one, I kind of like ripped a, like an old thing up and tore bits and like we the bandages we darkened because we didn't have enough makeup. We darkened it and was like, okay, what can we get to make it look like dirt really quickly? So we just grounded like coffee beans into the dirt, made like into dirt and pushed it under stuff. But her not the brave, it was that good. Like she was so tired, bless her. I'm all right. I'm not that cool. I always keep saying that I don't think I'm cool. You'd think I'd be good at makeup though when I do all this, but I'm not, I'm terrible. I can't do the makeup. So I get my little sister to do my makeup. So whenever you see me doing anything with makeup, it's usually Sophie. So give Sophie heads up for that. She's amazing, my little sister is. She's a bloody champion as well, all the stuff she's been going through. She is just a warrior and I respect her to the bones. Right, we need a better paintbrush because my ones are going knackered. Let's try this one. That one's a bit knackered too. What the heck am I doing with my brushes? You know what? Let's try the big, big canvas brush. <laughs> Just try and get the flick to dry the paint off it. Oh, do, 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 do. They're really soft as well. Do you want to get soft brushes? <gasps> I can't see the thing. There was another beep. Where's my Skyrim thing? Gosh dang it. I, I do. I love doing details. I wish I could paint like proper pictures and stuff. I can draw anime, but I get not as cool as people think I am. I'm just a nutter with a. I'm just a crazy person with a bloody paintbrush. <laughs> this look. You know what this reminds me of right now? The way the, the, the it's drying. It reminds me of when you walk in the rain and you're walking across cobblestones. And how the cobblestones they slowly like get covered in raindrops. Like, it reminds me of that. I love it. I, I don't know why I like going out in the rain, but I always, always I'd never get a cold, but it's just something nice and relaxing about walking out in the rain. A bit there I've missed. So we get that in the group. Yeah. 
Wait, if you're looking for paintbrushes as well, what I can recommend is don't go for like expensive brushes. Go for the ones that feel right to you and are right for the job that you need them for. Like, I would recommend go to Games Workshop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I got a message. My mom, my, my mom has messaged me. She's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, mom. Don't worry. So why can't I call you? I'm like, because I'm using my phone as a camera right now and I can't do stuff. But yeah. Um, I'm not, ah, you know what? I'll accept the crazy. I like being called crazy because it's better than being normal. I'd rather be called crazy than normal. Because normal, what is normal? It's like, it's like, what is perfect? We can always just try to strive to be perfect, but when, are we ever going to reach that? Bit, getting a bit deep here. Whoa, is this Troy Baker channel? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker's adopted daughter. How are you doing? Okay, I'm trying to figure out how... Do we want to make this look like it's weathered? Ooh, yeah. Make it weathered. Yep, 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 yep. I can show you some schools. This is why I really love getting school. Like painting schools. It sounds daft. I like painting schools. Two seconds. Gotta go out from my chair. So these technically weren't supposed to be painted, but I was sitting at a table waiting for my game to start and nobody was starting it. So I got these out and I thought I was gonna paint them. And they're like a little oh wait, here we go. Little cyborg schools. And I I did all that within about a couple of hours like about an hour or two. And there's loads of them by the way. <laughs> like like a little dice set. <laughs> There's another one for you with a little arm. And it was just a case of painting it up and then dirtying it with washes. Like the little like bits there and his skull opened up and the gold bits there and the bronze. And the cool thing is when you when you roll when you're supposed to roll a dice, these special cool dice, I can't remember what they were for now. Um excuse me, good sir. Oh sorry. When you roll a dice, you're supposed to keep like the dice on there so that they know what you've rolled but yeah i painted a bunch i just painted them out of boredom and i was like oh they're really cool they've like limited edition i'm like yeah they're kept like you just said there they're kessie edition Def definitely definitely <laughs> always kessie edition and i can't sh Some, like a little ammo box as well which i thought was quite cool i wasn't allowed to paint that up so i kept that as it is I swear, I know, no, I, if I did, oh my god. To be fair, my mum did get like a cool skull, like a smoke, uh, smoke machine, years ago for Halloween. And I painted it up to make it look more menacing, and she was like, okay. I, I, oh, you'd love this wick. Um, I used to get involved at the steampunk events where I used to live, where I live. Because when they used to have them, they don't anymore, unfortunately, which is a shame. And I, I asked, like, could I help out with anything? And they're like, yeah, we want some do these cool things. And one of them, and my sister told me the story as well, she used to do a thing with her Battle Heritage team, which was called Wheelie Bing Jousting. Or, if you're American, Garbage Bin Jousting, which would be you have a training sword, and you get in a bin, a wheelie bin, and you charge at your opponent. And... Um, I took the idea and I said, well, we can't have bins, so why not um, wheelchairs? And I went, how are we going to find... We're painting scenery today, Raven. Dude, there is slow motion footage of me taking a, a noodle, a, poodle no a, a, a pool noodle to the face. Because we basically would get two people in the wheelchairs and... You'd have people who had the horses who had to push them. And, oh my god, was it a nightmare. Because kids, they wouldn't just hit when they saw their opponent. They would just start swinging before we even started pushing them. And, oh my lord. It was... <laughs> it was a maniac. It was, I kept getting this little girl who was just so excited. She almost fell out the chair a few times. I was like, okay, you gotta, you gotta sit down now because health and safety issues, like, hey. But um, before that, I said to my mum, could I borrow two of her wheelchairs? Because she, my granddad had a wheelchair and my mum had one. She's now got a mobility scooter because she just got sick of me pushing her around and not going where she wanted me to take her. And basically, um, 
20 acre burrow. I was like, cool, can I spray them up a bit? She was, yeah. So I steampunked these two wheelchairs up. Yeah. My mum saw them. She still has them. And she's like, what did you do? <laughs> How did you do? Why did you do that? I'm just like giggling. I'm like, I'm sorry. I swear it'll wash off. Two years later, it has not washed off. <laughs> it has st it, the, the paint has stayed on. It's still very steampunky. And my mum's like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. So right now we try to paint this lovely kind of like, because we've got the uh, big gate. We've got this little mini gate that I'm very proud of. I'm very happy with that. That turned out. And um, just, yeah, I've... Painting takes my mind off stuff. Oh, and uh, oh crap! And they closed the window. That that would have been that would have been tragic. Jesus, if I closed that window. But yep. Yeah, oh, look at that. I'm I, I'm gonna have to have more moss because I just love the fact that it's growing between the bricks and stuff. A uh, bit of both. Bit of both. Bit of both. Yep. That blood. You need to use like some strong detergent to get that blood out. I mean, what? But yeah, so far with my DC character, sh we, my DM's like, I don't know where to go with you because you've, you've just beaten your story arc within that day. And and I don't know where to take your character. And I went, can I just take her away from everything because you're throwing enemies, both villains and heroes at me now. I'm like, am I getting too overpowered? And, and poor Scott's like, yeah. This is a different Scott. There's another. There's two Scots. There's a Scott Ferrin, who's amazing, amazing musician, amazing person altogether. You should check him out. Follow his stuff. If you don't, definitely check it out. I would put a link up, but I uh, hands are full of painting. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to talk about, guys. How, how you guys been? I mean, I'm just painting. He is. Oh my god. <laughs> I've hung out with him and it's quite funny because we have obviously we will know James and James myself Nate and Scott went to like a burger place and it's just funny having like three voice actors at a table just making noises try and get in there but it's not working come on come on come on get covered in paint you're only got you're only stalling for time now the yeah, covered in paint James 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 the weather James I don't think he follows me and I'm gutted <laughs> Am I not cool enough for you, James? I am not entertained. Now he'll shout left at me a lot. It's fine. Dude, playing Destiny with them lot is just the, some of the best fun I've had. It's, oh my god. Especially when we, we we couldn't do this jumping puzzle. Me and Scott were just dying constantly on this jumping puzzle in Destiny 2. And so James felt like he needed to motivate us with Dolly Parton. Nine to five. And... Strangely enough, it <laughs> it worked. It's like, wait, why are we getting pumped up to Dolly? What the hell is happening right now? Then just try and get these tiny. No, I'm only a little tiny detail brush for those tiny bits. Boy, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of metal thing here, right? What I've been trying to do, and it's difficult. I've been trying to. I'll quick show you. Uh, pin son metal Sonic's legs to his up to his legs. So what you do is you get some little, little piece of, like, a bit of metal there. You drill a hole in, and then you've got a bit of a, there, if you can see it, a little bit of a spine there. And we stick him on. But I need longer pins because it isn't working. And I'm gutted because I need to fix him for Sophie. Okay, so that's drying. Quickly. Uh, surprisingly quickly as well. I need a hydration. Ugh, hydrations. Okay, also, I'm going to quickly bring out the dwarf. The dwarf that I'm working on. I need to name him. I don't know what to name him. He's, got, he's getting his, his base coats on for now. But I might pay a bit of him on stream. Oh, sing a song and a hydration. <laughs> Jesus. Um, God. A song, a song. Hold on, let me get the hydration first. Let me do that first, and then we'll do the song. Um. Um. God, this is difficult. Oh, God, um, 
She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. Most of the time she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. There we go. <laughs> right, detail brush. And music. We need guitar music. Uh, that's not a detail brush. That's the same brush I just picked up twice before. Uh, detail brush. There it is. Hello, Mr. Detail Brush. Thank you. Probably under pressure. I'm like, oh, you're gonna think of a son, Uncle. <laughs> um, dude, I'm still bummed out by that audition that I had because it's it's. I don't get why they felt the need to basically just. It wasn't like an X Factor thing. It was just for a theatre job. And it was a case of... <laughs> you, have, you do not have 8k points. No, you do not. Dude, that would get you a full song, actually. I'm just try to darken the blade. Oh, I should cut the blade in half and make it stick on the ground make it look like it's been broken. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Try and make it look weathered a lot. Sorry, I should do it on the camera. It could be weathered, but it's been all on hydration. Hey, I can refund you, but I think there's like a time limit to how quick, uh, how, how, how much I can refund. Okay, so that one's drying. This one is dried, and what we want to do, I'm going to show you a cool thing that I love to do. So these bits here are clearly not stones, they're like dirt and mud, and we have dirt and mud. Uh, I have somewhere a brush that I will use. That's not the brush. Uh, I use a brush. Yes. No. Wait. Maybe. No. Yeah. I use these brushes for this because it's a bit messy. And you don't want to mess it up a bit too much. Oh, did I put it away already? God dang it. No, I didn't. There we go. The hydrations. I need those hydrations. <laughs> Especially for today. I've been feeling really rough. I'm gonna try and get something to eat later, but okay, this is this stuff is the earth earth paint. If it loads in, there's the earth paint. And what we're trying to do is get it. It's like melted chocolate. But the cool thing is, when it dries, it looks like it looks like icing. I know. But when this dries, if I can get it on here, it will basically. If I can show you on this piece, it kind of cracks. It loads. Come on. There you go. it cracks a bit there. And you can paint over that and do whatever you want. And that's what we're trying to do today with it on this one. But it's so, like, it is like melted chocolate. Let's try and put melted chocolate on a cake. And it doesn't want to go where you want it to go. So we're trying. <laughs> Uh, come on got it and there's bits I've noticed as well there's bits around on this side too so we've got this side to do as well what is that playing oh my gosh generic guitar song number 430 and the thing is, I don't think we can water down the technical paint, so what we're going to try and do is just try and get as much on as possible. I'll never get on there. Let's try and... It's, it's so tricky. Oh, my God. Forgot how tricky this paint is. Oh, sorry, I got it wrong. 31. I No, I missed it. I'm sorry, sorry. I call myself a generic musical fan. Dang. Just trying to just paint this mud around. Oh my god, it's so tricky. I hate it. <laughs> I swear, I, I'm kind of glad that I don't have much left of it now because 
Look at it, it comes out like in clumps. I'm sorry, oh my God. Oh, forgive me, please, Wick, I'm so sorry. I'll do better next time, I promise. I think one day I'll have to do like a face cam. I mean, everyone knows what I look like anyway. I mean, hi. <laughs> but definitely do a face cam. And I'll just like paint, I'll paint some models. I don't know. I've got that Godzilla model on the way. That's crazy. I'm nervous and excited for Godzilla. Let's get that in the gaps there. That is, you know, I'm going to have to try and get some of this off because it's too caked on. Okay, hold on. Aha! I wish I had my little tweezers and my scalping tools because you can get. Oh, wait, I do. What the hell am I talking about? Uh -huh, I do. I'm not clean the brush because I need to always clean the brushes with this stuff because it's annoying. Trying to get those little bits here. And that bit just won't go. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> there we go. It'll be <laughs> it's one of the skulls I've painted in the past, yes, definitely. I'll wear one of them instead. We can wear a mask, all my masquerade stuff from the steampunk days. Oh my lord. Um so yeah, this is looking fancy. I think we need to start working on those skulls. Let's check this guy out. He's oh <laughs> he's looking better. I think we'll do another coat on the bottom before we do anything else. So swap that around. Oh my god, where's that brush gone? This is the trouble when you have too many brushes. You keep losing them. Should dress up oh my lord if i could dress up as a character on stream oh my god Aerith from friggin from final fantasy 7 because yeah i actually am enjoying final fantasy 7 i'm really really enjoying that game then again i'm a final fantasy nut so of course i would um no that's not fair maybe i wouldn't maybe i wouldn't have liked it i don't know but i love that it's one of the first few ps1 games i owned so I was really excited to hear that they're doing the remake and I followed it from day one. There we go. Just quick through a few strokes of the paintbrush and that is covered. Any second, I'm expecting to hear Joel. I'll <laughs> dress up as Bob Ross, how about that? <laughs> I couldn't be as cool as Bob Ross, nah. Everyone is so much cooler than me. I, I try to achieve that and it's just like, nah. So cool. Right. Well, this is drying. We've got like skulls. I think paint that skull. I think leave. Maybe. I don't know. I put my fingerprints on him. Oh no, that's bad. Nope, 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 nope. Stop back over. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? What have you done? I'm scared. When people put my name like that, I'm scared. I got a boop. I saw a boop and I'm scared. Um, now I'm scared. Now I'm always scared. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Oh, God, okay. I punched that model when I got paint in my hand. Nah. I'm fine at being cool. I was never a cool kid. I'd rather, I was always, I'm, I was literally, I was the kid who, when I was at college, would read Dragonlance and Howl's Moving Castle and Dungeon Dragons. There's my sculpting tool. Oh, I knew I had it somewhere paint on it as well that's bad see sculpting uh, that's for green stuff if you don't know what green stuff is it is an amazing plastic stuff that you can mold and put on models and so you say you want to try and pin a head and it's not working probably get some green stuff on it okay so do i want to start with the skulls or the flowers this is the question let's put that there because we've got a load of flowers here and there's a skull there. Hmm. I think of flowers. Let's go flowers. That's the wrong paint to start with. Let's try this one. 
because I've not tried this one before and I need to start using it. This one's the air one. I think I need the gun for it, like the air gun. But I don't have it because it's kind of expensive. Yeah, I'm going to try and do that one though. I'm going to like pretend that it was like weathered by the rain. So there's going to be a lot more moss. I'm going to add a lot of stuff to it. Don't worry. It, it, it'll get there. It'll look cool. Don't worry. I got an idea. We're just going from the corner here. Oh boy, if you can get it on the camera. Why are you watering down? You dumb paint. Yeah, so don't worry about the server and look what I did. Bada bing, bada boom, it's nearly done. <laughs> a big robot like get a Gundam or something it's getting there okay I think I need more more green paint because that one is crap so that one can go in the drawer of forgotteness because I don't want to remember it I want to forget about it mm -hmm. ooh warpstone glow that might be a good one to try ooh yep yeah. now we're getting somewhere They will. It's just that obviously they're busy. I'm not. I'm not worried. They won't. They will use it. They will definitely use it. If not, I throw Tim Tams and my dice at them, and I have a big dice bag. I've made it myself, so and I know how many dice. Actually, I need to actually. Oh god, that's a good question. I need to check my dice bag. How many have I got in there? I might have to do a recap of my dice week to say. Yeah, I've been throwing dice. Dude, you don't know how many years I've been throwing dice. <laughs> it's a very long time. How many dice? I haven't counted them in a while. Ooh, I'm letting myself down. I'll definitely give them a count if I'm not burning up. I, th I think I got in the 400 mark. Dude, it, dude, it's a bug. When she catch it, you can't quit. You gotta keep going. You gotta beat Laura Bailey, and she has no idea that we're all competing against her. Hey, Laura Bailey, if you're watching this, I love you. And I, I just think you think you're cool. <laughs> there's, I've noticed there's a skull here, and there's some flowers. I'm trying to get that corner down there. And I've got them, got the skull covered in mud, which I love because I just think that's awesome. Oh, that mud's amazing. Dude, if she did, I would probably throw a model of, like in the like this fly over that way to like the right. Cause I I'm a nervous right when it comes to talking to people like that. Cause that those right if she did join, say Matt Mercer did join, Laura Bailey did join as well. I would probably act cool, but in my head I'd be doing somersaults. Because for me especially, cause I want to do I want to be in that business that they do. I want to do voice acting. That for me they're like not just like people I admire and I look up to, but they're like for me. Like, I want them to be future colleagues. I would love to work with them. So it's like, I really kind of want to kind of be cool around them. But I know I'm not. That's why I keep saying I'm not cool. Because I know I'd be a gibbering wreck. Like, and then they'd walk away and I'd be like, oh, I blew it. <laughs> oh, I blew it. No, I blew it. There's a bunch of people that I'd love to work with. I mean, I got, I mean, Wick, you were there last year. I got, I was really lucky to sing with Troy. And that whole setup, that was, first off, crazy that we, that they, everyone got it done. Like, because I, for many, many years, I was told that I would never get that chance. Ever in my life. Yeah, it'd be me in a box. That's why I take boxes with me everywhere. It's like a fold away box. But yeah, I've been told that I'd never get a chance to sing with him. And I thought I already had that chance when I went to, when I met him in Glasgow. I sang a bit with him there. There's a video somewhere. I'll have to dig it out. 
of me singing a little bit of Will the Circle Be Unbroken and my ex filmed it and he filmed my shoe more than me. So you don't really see anything. So I thought, you know, I had my chance. There's no way I'm going to get a chance like that again in my life to sing with not one of my heroes. And I met up with the replayers and they were like, you know what? We're doing karaoke, join in kiss. I was like, okay, cool. I like, I like karaoke. I like making them up out of myself. Yeah, totally. And I think I sang Moana's um, How Far I'll Go. And it was like this beautiful piano piece. And I, I sang it out. Yeah, dude, that night. Like the day, the, the, work, the work up to that was crazy. Because we were driving a car. And one of the replayers named Sean, she was like, yeah, Troy's asking for you, Kessie. And I thought it was a joke. I was like, yeah, right. Funny, ha ha ha, asking for me. He goes, no, no, seriously, he's asking for you. Where are you? And I was like, no. Lap. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, right, fun fact, Wick, I didn't know Nolan was in the audience. I knew Brian Deckard and his wife Amelia were. But I didn't know Nolan was there. So that was a kind of a what moment of my life. I only found that out. Dude, that's my superhero name. Yeah, Calamity, care, like, like villain name. That is a superhero name right there. Why did it make the Badoop sound again? But, um, yeah. So when I went, when I was in the line, everyone's seen the gif of me ducking for cover now behind my friend. Um, because Troy was like, where the hell have you been? And then I got told to, like, meet up afterwards before the show. So I could rehearse it with him. <laughs> I was so scared that day. That that being told like, hey, we're gonna sing it, and like, cause I wanted to sing breakup song with him, but he's like, no, no, I want to sing no, will the circle be unbroken? So that was even like that's my mum's favorite song, and I did not want to mess that up. And the time came around we were waiting outside and I had to meet James and James took me in and we, we practiced a few we practiced um, Feeling Good uh, Michael, Bub Michael Bublé and um, Barry James can sing James is an amazing singer he won't tell you this and if he's watching I'm so sorry I'm throwing him under the bus but he can sing like really really well that's why he's an amazing voice actor I love I do I love that song that and Sad Song are my favourites and I got to meet Stuart Claw, the guy who's like the voice, like the, doing like the voice and stuff, and like the, you know he like the, does the announcements and everything. He was really cool. He he gave me a microphone to hold on stage because I was sh I was really really shaking, terribly shaking. And then Troy comes out on stage, and we only practiced like one bit of the song. And he's like, "I want can Kessie have like a screen because I want her to have the words." And me being me, I'm like, "I don't need the words. I know the song." And my brain was like, no, you don't, you fool. You've forgotten every song that exists. What the hell? And, like, I, I'm not going to lie. One of the cool things about that night was I was sitting, like, the year before he came to the UK and he performed, and I was sitting in the exact same seat as I was, that, like, the year after. So that was kind of cool for me. Like, oh, my God, you know, I'm sitting here. Like, a year, a year ago, I, I thought, oh, it'd be cool to sing with him, and now I'm actually getting this opportunity. This is crazy, man. I had Janine with me, and like Janine's a superstar. I love her. She's a bit. She's a big sis. She is. Um, and what happened was, we're sitting. I'm sitting there, and he's going towards me. Wick, you were there too. You weren't far from me. <laughs> like I was sitting, like I think just to the left of you, like in the other row, and like Troy kind of slows down. He's saying how cool it is to be there, and then he says, like, you know, there's someone here tonight. And I remember as soon as he said that, I started to shrink. I was trying to make myself super tiny just to see if he could forget, how, like, I was there. And, dude, I got, when I got called up, everything, like, every, I remember looking out and seeing, like, everyone in, in that corner and on the, on the if, I'm, when I'm, if I'm on the stage, on the right side to me with their cameras and the cheering. And it was so, such a surreal moment. I, I, I still can't believe it happened. And Troy's like, you know, introducing the song and everything. And then he introduces me. And it's like, this is terrifying. All right, this is like so scary right now. <laughs> and then like we start singing. And I remembered like on the album, there's, there's different versions of the song. Like he does different like endings to song of the song. And I was trying to guess because we didn't go over the ending. I'm picking the red, don't worry. 
and I'm trying to guess which ending is he going to go for. Is he going to go for the big one, or is he going to go for the short kind of like no bit? I'm, I'm I'm in my head like that's all I'm thinking. That and I remember that there's a jelly bean in my pocket, and I'm that's annoying, and that was annoying me. <laughs> I was scared. So when that big note like the home away, and that bit came up. I thought, you know what, the only thing I can do right now is because I don't know how he's going to end it. If I just hold that note for as long as I can, maybe I can beat Troy. But thankfully, we ended it on the same part, so it was kind of good. And I just remember everyone just went, everyone just cheered. And I'm not used to that. I, that's why when everyone's like, oh god, Kessie's amazing. I will hide away because I'm not used to that kind of stuff. Look at all these little roses. Look at these pretty flowers. Well, that, that is actually pretty cool. I'm much them. But yeah, like, and when like we finished the song, I just I just darted off the stage. I was shaking. There was a lovely guy named Danny backstage, and he gave me like a bottle of water because I was like, oh my god, what just happened? Is this real life? <laughs> And obviously Troy went back out to finish the, the show with Creep and I was singing along off stage and and I became a gif. I became a gif and you know, once we were finished, I got a big hook off Troy, got to talk to him and James for a bit backstage, met Brian Deckard and swore at him. Cause you know, it wouldn't be a Cassie day without Cassie swearing at somebody. Yeah. And <laughs> I just said F it's you. I didn't mean it. He he laughed though, he thought it was funny. And when I went, when I left, like, I was crying because I was like, did that just happen? Like, what, what have I done? Like, oh my God. And on the way home in the car, like, I got the tweet off Nolan because he, he tagged me in it. And I was, that shocked me as well. Like, it was such a, for, like, I, I can't describe it. It was such a, like, a, it, like one, a once in a lifetime opportunity, I would say. Because... Again, I was I was told from my ex and from people that like when I was being bullied that I would never get an opportunity to do do something like that with a hero of mine. And I did. And I have whatever, all the replays to thank for that because you guys kind of encouraged Troy to do that. You kind of like kind of cornered him and was like, Troy, you gotta stay with Kathy. Mm. I forgot where I was going with that story, but I just like sharing it because it's I don't really like I don't talk about it much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, that was a cool moment. And, it's, again, it kind of goes to show don't listen to bullies because they don't know what they're talking about. Like, if I did, I wouldn't have gotten on that stage. I would have ran away. And, my God, it, it, I spotted a box backstage and I was going to die for it. I was like, it's mine! I'm hiding! No, 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 no. I would, I would love to do voice work with some of them. <laughs> you guys did. Like, I remember watching that dude. Then, you know what the weirdest part? I remember being told to watch the next episode. It was the fishing episode of Fractal Replay. And I was told, yeah, you got to watch it because, you know, something cool is going to happen. And I was they're talking about Manchester and the, how they were really happy to go back there. And I'm like, oh, I know that. I, know, I was there for that. <laughs> and then I get mentioned. And then they show the clip and I'm there crying like, oh my God, it really did happen. Oh boy. It wasn't just me crying in, in, a, <laughs> in, a, in a wagon mamas for about half an hour. It actually did happen. Oh boy. But yeah, that, I, if I got another opportunity to do something like that, I would definitely jump at it. I, I would love to do that again because it was just fun. At the end of the day, it, it made a lot of people happy and smile. So I'd definitely, again, dive for it. I'd dive, dive in straight away, head first. Yeah, don't listen to bullies. Bullies don't know shit. Bullies say things to you to hurt you, to get a reaction. And the best thing you can do is take away that power. Ignore them. Ignore them. Show them that what they're doing isn't bothering you. And you know what? It might. It might hurt. It might really cut you up. But at the end of the day, you know what? You are going to be better than them. I, I don't like bullies. 
I, I've dealt with them all my life. All my goddamn life. And sometimes the worst bullies you can get are the ones that are closest to you. Yeah, I'm going about bullies. Really? Oh! <laughs> Wake, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> My mum always says, we're all put here for a reason. And sometimes we, we don't know what our reason is, but we find it along the way. And my mum's always said to me, Kessie, your reason for being here, and she's like, I don't like telling people what they should do and stuff. She was like, Kessie, your reason is to make people happy and to make them smile. And I remember telling, being told that, and I was really, I was about eight years old. And my mum told me that, and she was having a really, really bad day. She her payments were being cut. We we didn't have a lot of money growing up. I, you know, we weren't we weren't poor, but we were getting by kind of thing. And I would always try and make my mum smile. And I would make a fool of myself. I would dance in the middle of a supermarket to a random song to make my mum smile. And I just kept. I just. I think that's why I like performing so much because it's a way of expressing myself and also getting people to smile because. I've seen how horrible people can be to one another in some of the worst situations. And you know what? I always like to say the, this, this big blue world that we're on right now is already full of hate and anger and stuff. We have the chance to not add to that. We don't have to add to it. We can change what we do. Why not add a bit of laughter? Why not add a bit of love to the world? If my painting inspires people to pick up a paintbrush and go for it, hell yeah. If me, you no, know, being the bouncy, bubbly person that I am, inspires others to do the same, how, hell yeah, go for that. I don't cry. The hell yeah, no, don't. Dude, you want to cry, you cry, dude. Nothing wrong about shedding a few tears. I do it a lot. I do it all the time. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, don't let don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. Don't let bullies especially tell you what you can and can't do. Because you know what? They know nothing. They're wasting their energy. What is wrong with my paintbrush? That came out pink. That didn't come out right. What the hell? Jingle dingle dingle dingle. But yeah. I like here's a good example. I had that audition. The people who auditioned me said my singing was good, but my reading was kind of a bit off. And when I explained to them, I said, oh yeah, I believe it, I suffer from dyslexia. No, I, I, I take my time in reading things, but they kind of threw that script at me. No, I do not want a pink skeleton. No, we're going to fix him up, don't worry. But yeah, I, I explained to them, yeah, I suffer from dyslexia, so I take my time with things. And you'd think, with it being this day and age, we'd be fine with that. According to this one person, nope. And they decided to make me feel like crap. And make me feel like the dream that I've been following for so many years wasn't worth it anymore. By the way, look, look, look. Look at that mud. It's cracking already. You can see it? I'll do it at the side. Well, look, look. Told you this paint was amazing. When it dries, it dries. It's a beautiful texture as well. But yeah, I did let those those the, the, that woman. Oh wow, she was like, you know what? If you if you if you can't read this, then you're in the wrong line of work. You shouldn't be acting. And that broke my heart because I've been wanting to do this for like all my life. I wanted to perform. And to be told that just and she she did say some other things I won't get into it because it was really kind of horrible and very harsh when I, I I I did the dumb thing of trying to fight it and I shouldn't have done I should have accepted the compliments that she was yeah, compliments she accepted what she was saying and just left but I didn't I tried to fight it I said, I'm sorry but I've been doing this for so many years and she was yeah and so many years you've been struggling and you're wasting people's time and I just one I couldn't believe what I was hearing and I know the fact that my mum was there she'd have ripped that woman's head off. 
It was it it I let it get to me, but I, I I'm not gonna lie. It's still, <sighs> you know the, the 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 stuff she said does hurt still, but I'm not gonna let it take over what I want to do with my life. What? I just saw your message. I want to cry. I want to read that. I promise you, I'll read that over in a second. I just saw the the main thing. That's really shocked me. That bit. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm good. Yours the link. I just saw the link. I'm okay. So, oh boy. Okay. What we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna quickly. I'm gonna stop crying. <laughs> Because I want to get the bricks darker before I... Dang it. I want to get them a lot darker than... I've already got them already. I've gone. I've gone. <sighs> okay, someone quickly request a song. I am so nervous, dude. <laughs> As I keep saying, I will, I will say it till I'm blue in the face. I am not cool. <laughs> okay, song. Okay. Uh, oh, pause my, pause my music for a second. Jesus. Um, a song, a song. Uh, I'm nothing special. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore. When I tell a joke, you've probably heard it before. But I have a talent, a wonderful thing Cause everyone listens when I start to sing I'm so grateful and proud All I want is to sing it out loud No, not that one, no, my mom would kill me if I fucked that song up No, 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 no It's like, I know where I'm going with this, it's bad I've redeemed those points and I'll give you back another one. Oh my god Okay, hold up, okay, I'm gonna stop crying Oh, what was I listening to today? Jesus! Ah! There's so many songs, right? And I don't, you know what? Screw it. We'll do the classic. Ugh. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting. In the sky, Lord, in the sky, you can picture happy gatherings round the far side long ago. And you think of tearful partings when they left you here below. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home of waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. There you go. That one's the one that I like doing the most because it makes me smile. It takes me back to that. I can actually close my eyes and think back to that moment when I was on that stage and the the faces of every bully I've ever seen. Dang it, I do. I'll get him to send you some. Um, what do you call it? But yeah, I can just, I remember standing on that stage and this is what I saw, right, Wick? I could see everyone's faces from what I could see with the blinding light in my way. And I could remember just every now and then I'd close my eyes and I could see the the like the villains like of my life like the the my ex who was horrible, you know people who had constantly put me down and said that I wasn't worth anything, and they faded because I was doing something that again thought wasn't impossible. I th I thought I could never ever do that, and there I was standing on stage. Standing on a stage with one of my heroes, and I was singing my heart out for my friends and family in the audience. And I'm gonna cry again 
because nobody and i mean they can try as hard as they want nobody can take that moment away from me and i will go down fighting if they try because that for me was a moment that my friends had given me and yeah i'm never gonna tell him that though. i'm never gonna tell her like that 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 you know i was in a very messed up my, my head was a messed up place no i, I, I didn't want to like I was worried about messing up the day, even though I had, like, helped organise this massive meet-up with Janine and Panda's help. And I was making sure everyone had knew where they were staying, you know, where they could go get, just, like, food and stuff. <sighs> Dude, yeah, oh my god, my mum, my mum would sing, not like, my mum, my mum, oh my god, mother, like, big inspirations for singing, because they would sing together, and... God dang it. <laughs> God dang, I'm crying again. And my mum, she would just sing weird and wonderful songs. There's a song, I don't know, Wick, you might know this, from Doctor Who, one of the Christmas specials. And it's called The Stowaway. And it's a beautiful kind of like Christmassy kind of song. Apparently it's Christmassy. I don't I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna get these inside these bricks here. <laughs> Dude, next year. We're hoping for next year. The the replay meet might not have happened this year. But we're gonna make sure it happens. Don't you don't you worry about that. It will happen. Mark my words. <laughs> um I'll do one more song, but the song's called Stowaway and it's from Doctor Who and it's a beautiful, beautiful song. It goes, um, oh, I need a hydration, hold on, we get I'll self hydrate. Self hydration Wow, look at that scoreboard. Teddy, Deeks, Demon Day, Deeks, Damon, Dean, and Smart, Sparty Pants, and a one, two, and three on that scoreboard. Holy crap! Okay, so the songs like um, <clears throat> it's this beautiful kind of like band, like old school band kind of style. It was like, once I found a stowaway upon my ship on Christmas Day, I was fair, so I gave him a chance. You shouldn't be here, watch your tail. I ought to throw you to the whale. He just smiled and said, come here, let's dance. He said, borrow or steal. I'll find a way to be with my lover upon Christmas Day. And I'll run and I'll roam, I'll cover the ground. This Christmas I'll see you, I'll be around. Um. Oh, how's this go? Oh, uh, Oh, no, I forgot it. Oh, terrible. Ew, this is why I only do bits of songs for Super Song Saturday, because I'm on a camera. I forget songs. It's like, I'm not going to lie. I, will, I found it, and I will I will upload it to Twitter for you guys. I swear to you. It is when I did the very first performance on my own for my mum in a steampunk outfit. I sang Can't Take My Eyes Off You. And, again, when you're on stage, you are blinded by lights. And I thought I was safe because that means I couldn't see my mum. I did my hydration, by the way. Wick, I got you. Don't worry. I did it. I did it. Don't worry. And what happened was I did actually catch my mum when I was in the middle of the song. And I just just like, a little bit. And just rebooted. And I couldn't finish. The, I, could, I could finish it, but I had to get everyone to get to the bit. Like the do 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 bit. Because I was nearly dying on stage. Because it was so embarrassing. I was like, oh no. I'm sorry, mum. I've just noticed that's metal. That needs to be silver. Ooh, I, I done goofed. But yeah, I love performing. I love singing. It's one of my biggest passions and everything. My mum for Christmas when I was a kid got me the Sing Star stuff for the PlayStation 2. And most of the songs I didn't know, but I would beat my sister at them. And if not, we'd have a, we'd have a snap. <laughs> All right. If you remember the PS2 SingStar thing, you had two microphones that would plug into your PlayStation and it was a karaoke machine. And the thing is, I will never forget the day when me and my sister were, were really getting annoyed at each other, trying to outsing each other. And out of nowhere, I just felt this kunk on the back of my head and the microphone just made this wonderful echo noise as it hit my skull. It's like, you're taking my words. <laughs> I was like, ow, mom, she's hitting me. 
and then we were told we weren't allowed to play it unless we were playing fairly. So we had, the, we had our karaoke machine taken away. Oh, but oh, boys, geez, I gotta stop the stream. Sorry, right. it's been over an hour. Holy crap! So I need to see what channel we can raid before I get into more tangents and start going on about more things. Um, is there anyone we follow? I can't. Uh, I can't raid anybody because no one's on. Sorry. Right. I'm going to end it here, guys. But so far, dude, I got so much mischief when I was a kid. Um, oh, crap. That's how far we got so far. What do we think? The roses still need some work. We need to put the moss in, the bricks. We need to put, add more weathering. But it it's starting to look like it a bit. Like, it's getting there. I'm happy with it. I'm, well, I'm nearly happy with it. I just need to add more bits and detail to it. So, hopefully... Maybe tomorrow I'll try to stream. Unless, unless two hours you decide to stream and I have a worst day awake again. Ah, nope. Thank you. All right, I promise when I get more models, we'll we'll spray them because I still need to paint that. I need to paint this, that giant tree man and this lovely deer. But I don't want color to paint him. Whoa, look at that detail. All right, I'll love it. Love you guys and leave you. But I will see you all. Thank you again for turning up. You do, you guys, this means so much to me that people are actually enjoying me jabbering on, crying. And yeah. <laughs> I hope to see you guys soon. All right. Take care.